Hey, hey there. What's up, man? Uh, you know, my name is Starks. While I'm over being a faithful black man, I'll put that to the side for a second. Let's talk about Derek Jackson since you're here. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to know who beat Derek Jackson up. Who beat Derek Jackson up so bad that he hates all men now? It seems like when he took an L, he got up and said, you pay for this, Captain Planet, because he's out here acting like a scorned woman. Uh, Derek Jackson has been doing his damnedest to try to hate on men for years just to be liked by women. I don't get it, but that's what he's been doing. Uh, by now, you know the situation. <laughs> by now, you've seen 7,000 videos talking about this same situation. Well, let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck about none of that, okay? This shit here is going to be about jokes, okay? If you are sensitive, this ain't going to be for you. Now's your time to click that X and get on up through, man. Go ahead. I'm going to give you a second. <laughs> that's enough, all right? Listen, let me tell you something. It's about to get messy so if you want to be in here now's the time i'm going to tell you let's get to it see i tried to warn folk about Derek jackson about a year or so ago but i gotta admit he did a better job than me bro i mean how are you the relationship guru and you got caught cheating nigga how nigga how that's like a scuba diving instructor that can't swim. That's like a surgeon that can't look at blood. That's like a skydiving instructor that's scared of heights. That's like a big girl with horrible coochie. It don't make sense, motherfucker, how? See, you can never trust a nigga that got a consistent stash of big V-necks. See, he got capital V-necks. The V so deep on his shirt, you can see that nigga belly button. Plus, he say his S is gay. Something like that I'm talking about as serious as sex, um, to sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by some in terms of like... Women are so damn naive, they let this nigga give them advice with a seatbelt on in a parked car. <laughs> I bet this nigga exfoliate with a tuna mask. Plus his cheekbones are more chestnutty. Nigga like he do security for colonoscopy clinics. He look like an ex-football player that quit due to injury and started selling insurance. Running back Thomas Jones face ass nigga. Apollo Wood face ass nigga. This nigga gained muscle from hating on men in sets of 10. I absolutely loved that women bought into his wordplay because it sounded good. They was actually living by his principles and co-signing his bullshit like it was law. Meanwhile, my dog hit us with a bar. Now all the supporters and believers sitting there looking silly because they done fucked up a perfectly fine relationship by listening to this fool instead of giving the relationship time to grow. Think about couples that celebrate 20 and 30 year anniversaries. You think they went this long without any turmoil? Nigga, you a bitch ass lie. Them folk done been through it. But the difference between our OGs and us is that they ain't have social media with clowns like this in their ear every day. Commitment was real and it wasn't a such thing as a DM. Good, bad, and ugly, they stayed together and worked that shit out. Nowadays, everybody got options, so what's the reason to hold on to anything? That wordplay he was giving, he was profiting from that shit. It's quite genius once you think about it. He did all that talking, all that lifting at the gym, all that work, all those V-neck purchases, just to settle down with a high four. <laughs> Let's be honest, man. His wife is a mid. She got a substitute teacher face. Nigga, she look like she have sex through her teeth. Who oh, are yeah, you? Give it to me. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nigga, she look like Shock G in his prime. I don't give a fuck. Either she on meds or she got alternate dick on deck. Because ain't no way she's sitting there this calm while she getting publicly humiliated. See, his wife wore a bonnet because stress got her edges gone. Stress got her looking like Russell Westbrook amongst the scalp. <laughs> she dressed like the mob boss that always shot at Bugs Bunny. She dressed like Denzel and Spike Lee and Malcolm X when they walked to the juke joint. She got on a zip da bibbity day suit. This looking ass. Get your programs, hair, outfit wearing ass. Her suits come with a cigar and a Tommy gun. Her pantsuit got a built in panty liner. That's the same outfit niggas wore when they fought Michael Jackson and Smooth Criminal. She got a dun 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 that nigga had to cheat. Any chick wearing a plaid dress vest got to have that dry dryer on deck. Pussy probably feel like you're sticking your dick in a tree torn backpack. That pussy probably feel like you're slamming your dick in a Honda Passport armrest. That pussy probably feel like you use the dick to pat out pop pie crust. <laughs> that bonnet is made by Autobox. I bet she sprinkles street corn in that bonnet before she wear it. Hey, I watched a few of her videos and she was worried as fuck. She's a fucking space cadet. She called her bonnet a helmet of salvation. You see a bonnet? I see the helmet of salvation. Soon as I saw that, I said, yep, I see now she real churchy. Man, I'm kind of a prophet. I've been said some shit like this. I mean, if they talk about God a lot, that pussy is trash. Amen.
See, this goes into a deeper, darker link that women really rule the world and they can make us or break us. See, men didn't make Derek Jackson popular. Women did. Men have hated this nigga for years and couldn't stop him. But the minute a woman felt the need, she snapped her motherfucking fingers and ended this nigga. Now he on the couch in a mahogany V-neck and his wife next to him dressed like she cooked eggs first. <laughs> This nigga dressed like every TV husband to be on the own network. Cassandra, I told you I can't live life without you. <laughs> Athletic Ralph Trasvant face ass nigga. Corn owl head ass nigga. Derek Jackson got the Ronnie Raccoon eyes. <laughs> His V-necks work like mood rings. When he's sad, it get tighter around the neck. When he's happy, the V-neck snap between the legs like a bodysuit. His V-neck is the kind you wear when you got Vicks Vapor Rub on your chest. Lobster barber head, motherfucker. Ostrich cartilage detective head, motherfucker. I want to hate this nigga so goddamn bad, but I can't determine if he's a sucker or a hustler. It take a different caliber of dude to convince a ton of women to spend money. So much so that it got him some new pussy and it changed his quality of life just based off being a relationship guru. Nigga, that's kind of fly. I can't even fake it. But let me be real, real quick. Let me tell you why Derek Jackson will forever be a sucker. See, he took advantage of women who lack confidence or they real emotional and it indirectly affected a ton of lives. You feel me? See, look, it's families that was broken apart by seeds planted from this content. Somewhere a child had to live through youth depression wondering why his mom and dad split. See, some kids might have rebelled and turned to drugs. Some might have even been suicidal. See, some might have lost that discipline and never got a fair chance to chase their dreams as a result of the domino effect of cats who post content like he is. See, he going for likes and views. Meanwhile, some people's lives was really turned upside down because of these past mistakes these people made. That's the problem. How did they not get the chance to fix things? But when you do everything you warned these women of, you get to have your Rafa Austin looking ass wife back. Ironically, all this came and now you're trying to sell a book? <laughs> Come on, man. Your karma is your career ending, Derek Jackson. The trash took itself out. It'll still be people buying your little books and shirts and plaid women's suits. But guess what? Them numbers ain't never going to be the same, my boy. See, you live by the gun, you die by that bitch too. So welcome back to Earth. Can good head, motherfucker. And oh yeah, black men don't cheat. Only little boys do. Little boy.